everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been a while because, uh, well, to be completely honest, I've been a little bit busy, but, and I just didn't have any tutorials in me to kind of give up that I thought, you know what, people might want to learn something from this or glean from my uh, awesomeness. But uh, the truth is, uh, I've had a few things. I've, I did a short film recently that's been uh, on Vimeo and on YouTube. Uh, I'm like, uh, happy to say that it's doing all right. Uh, we're getting quite a few views. So thank you for everybody who has been watching. And for everybody who's been watching all the other tutorials, thank you very much. Now, um, it's getting like Christmas. Uh, the Hobbit. Uh, who, hasn't seen, who hasn't read The Hobbit? Well, I haven't. But uh, you've seen The Lord of the Rings, and who doesn't like Lord of the Rings? So we're just going to jump into a uh, tutorial on how to do, uh, basically, the opening titles for uh, The Lord of the Rings and, uh, subsequently, the new Hobbit movie coming out. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen um, the Pacific Rim trailer that just came out recently, you've got to see it. I mean, I know really it looks like just a, a very expensive Power Ranger movie, but it's monsters and uh, giant robots. I mean, get your head around that for a second. Monsters and Giant Robots, in a mainstream film that's coming out in 2013, directed by Guillermo del Toro, I mean, come on, you, you gotta want to see that. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. So uh, here we go, uh, I've made this small little title here called The Coup, um, just, uh, you know, an unexpected tutorial. Now, um, it's pretty simple to put together. Uh, there's a couple elements here that we've got to get through. It's just uh, some some simple lighting uh, tricks that you can use in After Effects, as well as some uh, textures and um, oh, well, we'll just ju we'll just dive into it. I'll just show you what I mean. Anyway, so uh, let's do it. Let's make a new comp. Uh, let's call this uh, main title, and uh, we'll make it uh, we'll make it we'll make it 15 seconds just for good measure. And okay. Um, let's make a new title. Um, so we'll just call this, uh, the Hobbit. Why not? We'll make this order and we'll center it. We'll make this massive. And, um, I'm using a font called Trajan. Now I know this is actually a bought font. So if you, if you don't have it, you know, I, I can, I completely understand that. Um, because it's it's not cheap, but it's a good font. If you can splash out on something like this, um, I mean, great. But if you can't, um, well, all you need to do is find a uh, font with uh, the feet. See how these have little feet on them? This is called a serif font. Um, you just gotta find any kind of serif font that has little feet on it, and uh, I think you'll be in uh, good shape. Now, we're gonna make this nice and big. So I'll put this right to the very edges, because, um, you know, we don't actually, we want, we're going to pre-comp this. So we'll make this the main title. So we just leave it like this. And um, let's pull this into another composition. So we just pull this here and put it in there. And now we have this main title here. I have already some textures uh, already kind of loaded up in here. These are from... Um, these are from Andrew Kramer's uh, Riot Gear, or you know what, you just need to get some uh, a texture of some you know broken concrete or whatever it is. But I got these from Andrew Kramer's uh, Riot Gear Suite. So I'm just gonna drag this on here, and uh, as you can see, it's a little bit big. So I'm gonna scale it down, and uh, just so it's covering the edges of the uh, the title. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a Luma mat. Uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, basically make it so that the cracks, where the cracks are, there's a little, you know, it's sort of a little bit see-through and there's cracks basically coming through. And, uh, so I want, I basically want there to be, it's going to be solid here, but where there's cracks, it's going to be a bit of depth there. So I'll just show you what I mean. I'll just turn the Luma mat on and you can kind of see it doesn't look great. Uh, it's a bit dark to be honest. So what we'll do is we'll put a curves adjustment on the, uh, the, the grunge texture. And we'll just turn it right up. And now I'll just show what I'm doing, just so you know what's going on. So I'm just turning this right up so that it's, so that the the bits that I want solid are white, and the bits I want see through are dark. Now that's probably a bit too dark there, but I really want this to be quite dark. Actually, I might do this in this end here, just so that you can, uh, you know, I might just do the crush. It might be easier. So we'll just do that. Of that and a bit of that. 
it'll give us some nice contrast. So let's turn that off and we'll go back to there. You can see everything's a little bit more, uh, you know, more defined than it was before. So I'll just show you with and without uh, that and that. And just so you saw where I was, Lumimat. All right. I don't like this line going through it. I think it looks a bit uh, natural if you're going to... I don't imagine that it was quite easy to make uh, straight lines in Middle Earth. So uh, let's move this so that we've got got rid of that, that basically that line. That looks a bit better, I think. And there you go, there's the tutorial. All right, no, I'm just joking. That's not the end of it. Ha, <laughs> jokes, on, jokes on you guys. All right, here we go. So let's, uh, now we've got the main title, main title two. We'll call main title two, uh, chunks missing. Why not? You'll see why in a sec. So let's pull this one into a new comp. And voila, we'll call this the Hobbit title. Cool. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of animation here. Actually, let's make a new null. Layer, new, null. And we'll turn these both on to 3D. So I'm just toggling between these switches here so you can see, we just turn these uh, little thingamajiggies on, these little cubes. And let's uh, pick with this to the, what do you call this, to this thing? Pick whip, get it? Anyway, don't worry. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pull this in the space. Uh, you know what, I've actually done the wrong thing. I meant this way. Pick whip, I just wanted to do that again. All right, here we go. So let's uh, put a keyframe there, click on the stopwatch, move it forward, go to the end, and let's move it forward in space to like roughly there. So we have a little bit of a, you know, bit of a smooth move as you do, smooth move. By the way, I'm going to see Skyfall pretty soon, so um, I'm going to try and wrap this tutorial up pretty quick. All right, next move is we're going to put the uh, we're going to put that grunge texture on again. So let's grab it, put it on, and let's shrink it down. Uh, you just got to find any cracked sidewalk, to be honest, that'll, it'll pretty much work. You don't have to be too pedantic about what kind of stone texture is here. I've just got, you know, I've just, because of, you know, people like Andrew Kramer, I've just got this great stock library of things I can use. And, um, you know, it makes things very easy. But uh, that being said, it doesn't take a lot of effort to just go out into your street, particularly if you live in somewhere like LA. I'm sure there are plenty of... Uh, what do you call cracked pavements that you can probably get access to um, if you don't if you live in like a utopian city where they just seem to fix all the pavements well um well then you can just download it or buy it from somewhere i'm sure google has it somewhere <laughs> just type in crack, pa uh, cracked pavement i'm sure you'll be able to find it all right so now what we're going to do is uh we're going to basically set this as an overlay so i've set this to a 3d layer and i've also set this in the same position as uh, I parented this to this layer here, so if you can imagine, whoosh, parented that, and uh, you can see the Z coordinates are both zero, so that might have been like that, and I just turned this to zero, so they are sitting literally on top of each other. I'm doing this motion with my hands that literally has one hand on top of the other, but you can't see that, so that was pointless. Don't worry. And um, so now, It'll move with that, as you can see, it'll move forward with us. Now that's great. Um, so now we wanna put that on top uh, using a transfer mode, which I'm going to use a soft light, I think. Now that's all good and well. Um, and we're gonna put a curves adjustment on that. It's all good and well, it doesn't look great, does it? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do what we did before and uh, just pull these up. It's just for giving it a little bit of texture. I Maybe mean, that's a little bit too much, but. Anyway, you'll see what I mean in a second. Now we're gonna pull this. Um, now, we want the texture to sit on top of the Hobbit text, which is great, but we wanna actually cut it out. So we wanna cut the texture, we wanna cut the texture out so that only the, only the bits in the letters are left. So what we can do here is, we'll grab, so I'll just close this up. So you can't get, that was my test before. Now we're gonna grab this one again and pull it on like that, like so. And we're gonna copy all these coordinates, go to position. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll parent that to that first. You make sure you do that first as well, copy me. Copy that, 
and then we're gonna go to the position and we're gonna turn on this. You know what would have been smarter is uh, actually deleting this and just putting this, uh, duplicating this, so uh, copying it. So I would have just gone edit, copy, edit, paste. That just would have been smarter. Sorry, everybody. Wasting your time, I know. All right, so that's cool. We've got an exact duplicate and uh, we'll parent this to the null again. Now, let's switch to the toggle modes. I would have everything out here, but because we're working in such a small resolution, I had to kind of dial it down a bit. So here we go. Watch this magic. Alpha mat. No, we don't want alpha mat. We want the uh, we want it to be luma mat. What do we want it to be alpha mat? Actually, I'm not sure. I think it's an alpha mat. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, what do you think? Cut it out. We cut it out. Bam. We might just uh, play around this so it kind of, kind of looks right. That's looking pretty respectable. Uh, see, it's got a little bit of texture here and there, which is good. What we want, we might just, you know, move it around till we get something that's a little bit, I think that resolution looks a bit funky. I might make it a bit smaller because I think that, I think I can do better. Isn't that what your girlfriend used to tell you? And, you know, those girls, not your girlfriend, but you know, the girl that you were trying to, or maybe your girlfriend, maybe you were dating a girl and you are like, hey, you know, and then she breaks up with you and she goes, I think I can do better. Like this texture. I'm, I think I can do better. I mean, in terms of where I position it. All right, that's good. Now, um, here's where a little bit of the magic happens. There is a uh, thing here where you go right click and um, I'm right clicking, shink, layer styles, bevel and emboss. I don't know if anybody, know, I don't know if everybody knows this, but this is a pretty cool tool. So uh, let's bevel and emboss this bad boy. And now look at that, we've already got this kind of very cool effect here where it's basically putting in some lighting, some texture. It's basically making it a little bit, a little bit 3D. I, I like it. I think it looks very cool. But we can play around this if you don't like this particular way that it looks. It's not, I'll, I'll be honest, it doesn't look exactly the way that um, the Peter Jackson poster looks like, but you know, I think it's pretty impressive that you can get this kind of look so easily with just a couple of few keystrokes. I mean, think about it, you know. I'm just playing around the lighting a little bit. I might actually move this around a bit. The angle, maybe we'll move it to this side. Uh, I don't know, yeah, it looks a bit better. So now we've got this, and that's great. Now, this is where it gets cool. I found this out by accident, but you know, you guys can have a go with this as well. I put a parallel light in. And look at this, it disappears, right? But look at this, nothing happens because we haven't set it up properly. <laughs> Let me change this actually from parallel light to a point light. I think that makes a bit more sense. So let's try this again. So we're gonna just get to the point where the radius is just slightly wide enough to be able to pick up the thing. Uh, and again, something has gone wrong. I'm not really sure what it is. There it is, I'll just turn up the uh, the radius of it. Actually, I think it's because the light is in the wrong position. So, and it is, it's quite too far. It's too far forward. And I should have realized that. Um, okay. Let's see. We'll put this a little bit further back because I actually think it could look better here. So do 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 the Hobbit. I actually like the parallel light better. So that's why I changed it to this. All right. We figured out that issue. Don't worry, everybody. Crisis over. Dun, dun, dun. And look at that, pretty easy, right? Um, now, if you're getting a bit like, uh, that looks, you know, it's can't quite get that edges of the thing and you'd be right. I, I wanna see the edges of the text and it's getting a little bit. So I just I just scaled this down. So just so you saw what I did. It's too wide, scaled it down, zoom. Okay, now here we go. Dun, dun, dun. It's the Hobbit. Yeah, boy. All right. And just to put a little bit of a flourish, we'll just go. And unexpected journey. And we'll make this a 3D layer. And once I just stop that stupid thing genieing for me. Um, yep. And so, and that's pretty much it. Pretty cool, huh? 
So there you go. Pretty simple. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I probably will have a new tutorial. Hopefully every two weeks is what I'm aiming for. But you know what? That could change. So um, until next time, hopefully see you in the new year. And everybody, please stay safe. Play hard, play safe. See you then.